I'm going to proclaim this. A bike is much more than just two wheels. It's an enabler of human possibilities. That saying is certainly true. It rings true for local urban bike crew Fixie Fit. So this group was established during the strange times, the COVID-19 lockdown back in 2020, but it has since grown into what some are hailing is the most diverse cycling group in Cape Town. They certainly look like the coolest. <laughs> and Fixie Fit has also been recognized internationally, have now been recently featured in Oakley's Be Who You Are campaign. Let's take a look. It's always been about being there for each other, about the community. If you have a bicycle and you enjoy cruising, pull up. That's Fix It Fit. I train two times a day. When I have stress or something, I just take my bike and go to the track and enjoy myself. You're welcome as you are, and I think that's where people really like gravitate towards is that cultural, inclusive aspect. There's so much potential and talent in our kids here at Velokai. I would love to be a teacher and give back and help kids. You never give up and always keep your head up. Just be who you are, man. Please, a warm welcome to the Fixie Fit crew, ladies and gentlemen, I present. Anneli Ambana, Robin Phillips, and Nick Mansion. Yeah, thank you. Just look at y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so let's be honest here, Anneli, do I have to be really, really, really cool if I want to join your group? Not necessarily. Come <laughs> as you are. You're already cool. Oh, thanks, We're man. all cool in our own way. Ah, uh, that's what it's about. So is that the vibe here? 100%. Obviously, started during a really strange time where I think yeah, yeah. a few of us really realised how much we needed to get out and move. True. And we took it for granted, and then we, as soon as we could, we were given that brief window, two hours or whatever it was, to get out there. Yeah, yeah. What was the mindset? What is the vibe here with this little fixie fit community that you've grown? Uh, Actually, because of that, because of that window that was awarded to us and, you know, everybody just wanting to connect, everybody just wanting to get out of the house, that's how it all started. And uh, that three-hour window is what we took advantage of. Coming together as friends, bringing whatever bike you can, and fitness, yeah. health, wellness, all those vibes. So it's about good energy, good vibes, having fun, being fit, and connecting, you know, with uh, homies and everybody around. And you've got to look good in shades. That's the main thing. You've just got to be able <laughs> I mean, to carry yeah, we'll try our best. <laughs> yeah, you've got to, you've got to be, be able to put it off. Did you have the intention of starting, and maybe, Robin, I can put this to you, of, of a, this community around you? Has this just been a natural escalation because people just need that human connection right now? How do you wrap your head around what you've grown? Yeah, I think it was a natural progression. I think it started out really small, six, seven guys. And slowly it started 10, 20, you know, as we met and we started hanging out, we started inviting people, pull in, pull in, pull yeah. in, right? 100%. Um, yeah, and it became so much more than cycling, so much more than, like, how, how you are on the bicycle, what your skills are. It was more about, like, you know, us supporting each other, I guess, the value, empowering each other, like, the community, the collaborations friendships, relationships, I guess, that came out of it. Yeah. yeah. Do you know yeah. what it looks like? It looks like you found your tribe. Um, yeah. <laughs> your no, for real. Yeah. I really that's, that's, so. a, that's exactly how it happened. And a lot of people just gravitated to us mm -hmm. because of the energy, because of the vibes. You know? And a lot of them bought bicycles in order just to be part of Fix a Fit. Yeah, that was yeah. Yeah. So it got to a point <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it got to a point where it was more than just cycling. It was the community first that just gathers around cycling. Mm. Yeah. You know? um, but on a fixie and... Did you not regret that decision on the first appeal that you, you, <laughs> you had to write? Like, <laughs> I think <laughs> <you're> like, <"Whoo." laughs> it started out with just fixed, yeah. and then single speeds pulled in, mountain bikes, geared bikes. Geared bikes every, you know, it really is. It's anyone who's like from learning how to cycle to like guys who are doing the Argus. Yeah. What about a guy who's so old that he still calls his bike a racer? Okay. Oh, we, we have I mean, these. Yeah. 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 <laughs> There's a master's class, I love that. It's another thing then being asked by one of the biggest brands in the world to embody a campaign. Mm. Be who you are. What does that actually mean to you now? Because you do get to live it and you get to express that with other people in this community. What does that mean to you in this little group? I think, you know, just being who you are in this day and age where you like flooded with so much messaging mm -hmm. of who you should be. I think it's just amazing to just find a group where you can be yourself and then finding brands that align with that. And then when they align with that, then you can just like celebrate each other together and it's not battling for different types of looks or whatever. It's just 
be yourself. Um, like the Fixie Foot crew is come as you are, and that's really <laughs> what it's all about. So come as you are, be who you are, and then you have a good time with everyone. You're yeah. going to be like the highest paid influencer in the world, this group. I can just see it. It's coming, man. <laughs> and we want that. No, and I think maybe we are ap approaching that kind of authenticity threshold where it's no longer good enough just to present an image. You've got to live it. You've got yeah. to be a part of that. Really? All of this being said, how do people join this little crew? Is the Fixie Fit crew open oh, for yeah. people to join? And how can people join your Oh, yeah. Movement? Anyone can pull up. All you need is just a bicycle. Good vibes. Be open-minded. We have an Instagram page, Fix It Fit SA. Yeah. We also have a WhatsApp group. Actually, that's how this whole thing started, as a WhatsApp group. And we announce our rides on there, and we make announcements and posters on Instagram. Yeah. Nick usually takes care of these things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, and I mean, if you know anybody that rides with us, just hit them up, hit us up, send us a message, whatever. And then we'll just let people know what routes we're taking. It's always different. So. Do, you, yeah. do you stop for coffee? Oh, definitely. 100%. Always like three or four times. Yes. Coffee, beer, <laughs> ice cream, ice cream. Ice cream, definitely some ice cream. That's Even rides. Hey, man, it's the Wildlands. <laughs> 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 There's Sometimes a reason why. Rides. You guys are awesome. Thank, Thank you, for, you for being this voice. And to all of the people who have been allowed to join this community and find their little place in the world. Thank you on their behalf as well. You guys are lovely, man. You can Just put up. your shades on if you've got uh, because no, no, you, you do look Listen. amazing. Um, absolutely love the Fixie Fit crew, South African-based crew that are, yes, just getting out there and moving, but I think it's more about that human connection. And boy, don't we all need a little bit of that. And also half a million bucks, guys. Can you help?